Hey, what's up guys? Mike Lack here. Thank you so much for tuning into this video blog. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips, some advice, some pointers on how to improve and take your visual UI design skills to another level, like bring it up a notch. Now, I was just reading this article about this guy who designed Facebook, and you've probably seen this. He concepted out Facebook, and uh, you know people were on and on over his Facebook concept, and uh, it got like 20 million views. People, like all these different firms reached out to him, and he ended up landing a job. And so that just goes to show you that with uh, top-notch visual UI design skills that uh, you can land that job. You can land that job, that, that client, or that business opportunity that you've been hoping for. And it all comes from your visual UI design work. And so here's some pointers on how you can improve your visual UI design skills because I took these same steps and it improved my level of skill um, up a notch. And so this is what you want to do. The first thing you want to do is kind of forget everything that you've been doing up to this point. And the reason why, this is sort of philosophical because what happens is as web designers, we carry bad habits from project to project, from month to month, from year to year, and we don't even know it. We're just taking these habits and it's sort of like our go-to move, our visual UI design go-to move that we sort of carry on through project to project and uh, we just kind of stick with these. And so you sort of want to forget that stuff, okay? Because this is the process to take your steps to another level or take your skills to another level. And so the first thing you want to do is forget everything that you know. Secondly, you want to find a designer that inspires you. So the best thing you want to do is you want to go to Dribbble, okay? You want to go to dribble.com, click on designers, click on top designers, and you want to find one of those designers that inspires you, look at their work, and you want to focus in on that one designer. And the importance of focusing in on one designer is because they're going to have a level of consistency throughout their pieces of portfolio that you need to study. Okay, You want to see the consistency that they show from project to project. And so you want to focus in on that one, find that person, and you want to shadow them. You want to subscribe for a scout account on Dribbble. You want to follow them and follow all their pieces that they put out. And so here are the things that you want to focus on when you're studying and shadowing this one particular designer. You want to focus in on the color that they use throughout their composition, okay? Pick one of their apps and focus in on the color choices that they use. It might be up to three different colors, okay? Different sort of color combinations. And you want to focus in on color from project to project and how they use utilize color. Secondly, you want to focus in on the spacing. Spacing is critical for any web designer because when I'm reviewing work from aspiring web designers, one thing they get wrong is the spacing, meaning they have text that's too close to the edge. They might have a box that's too close. Uh, maybe it's like three pixels too close to one particular box and you have little elements throughout your website that is just not spaced properly. In web design, we call it letting your web design breathe. So you need to have let your work breathe and these top designers show that throughout their work. They have a level of consistent spacing throughout their work that is something that you need to sort of bring into your work. Okay, the third thing you want to do is focusing on the typography. Okay, it's simple. They don't use a million different typefaces. They use one particular one or maybe two at the most. And you want to focus in on how they use that. Fourth, you want to focus in on the textures and within their work. Like you want to zoom in in their work. You want to bring that work into Photoshop or Fireworks and zoom in on their work and look at the textures. Okay. Also, you want to look at the level of consistency in the type in the iconography, the colors, the spacing throughout from page to page to page. A lot of times when I'm reviewing work, I might look at you know a work that says that has three pages. And on that third page, there's this one little element, this one little icon, this one little graphic that just doesn't fit within the overall composition of the website. So consistency is really, 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 really important. Lastly, look at the simplicity of their work, okay? A lot of times it's really simple. Okay, you combine all that stuff, it makes a great piece. And so what you wanna do, the last thing you, the, the, what you wanna do is take this, shadow this person, and with everything that you design, you wanna ask yourself, what this designer design the work that I'm doing right now. So if you're designing a button, if you're design, designing a layout, if you're applying color or texture, look at the level of work that you've been shadowing. Do this for like six to eight weeks, shadow this person, and make sure that your level of work is consistent with their work. And I guarantee if you do this, if you're honest with yourself, 
you kind of forget everything that you know and you do these steps, you, you'll see that your visual design skills kind of moves up a notch. And that's what I did and it kind of helped me kind of boost my level of skills. And so um, that's what I got, all right? So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, visit my website, mlwebco.com, shoot me an email. Also, last but not least, I have a new podcast that's coming out or I have two, I have a podcast that's out right now. You can go to my website and uh, look at my blog and the podcast should be there and I'll have more to say about that soon but it's a, it's a good thing you can learn about my story and learn all these other things but it's a good way to um, if you're interested in um, the stuff that I have to say you can kind of listen in and uh, learn from, more from me so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll talk soon bye